The number of internet users in India has more than doubled in the last five years. And it's projected to reach a billion by 2025. Creating a website in Hindi is a good way to broaden your reach among the millions of Indian internet users who prefer content in Hindi. In this video, you'll learn how to create a Hindi website from scratch. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. Our website cannot exist without a unique domain and hosting. The domain is the identity of your website. People can type it into a browser and instantly reach your website. And the hosting is where all your website's information and files are stored. It's like a computer that sends your website's information to people looking for it at any time from anywhere in the world. You can purchase the domain name separately and pay a different service to host it on its servers. But the cost-effective way is to buy them both together. There are plenty of good hosting services out there like Kinsta, Cloudways, HostGator, WP Engine, A2 Hosting, and Hostinger. But WordPress officially recommends Bluehost, SiteGround, and DreamHost on its website. You're free to compare all these options and pick the one that suits you best. But no matter which one you pick, the following steps will be the same. The service will offer you multiple paid plans like these. Depending on the price, web space, and other features, choose the best plan for you. On the next page, you'll have to search for and select your website's domain name. Hope you've thought of a name already. On the final page, you'll have to create a new account with the hosting provider with an existing email and new password. You'll also have to fill some personal information like name, country, address, and phone number. Select the period of time you want to buy hosting for and pick or unpick from extra services like domain privacy and SEO features. And of course, your card information will be needed to make the payment. After making the payment, you'll get logged in to the hosting provider's dashboard. Now, different providers have different dashboards with a lot of different options in the sidebar. But you only need to worry about one. WordPress. Under WordPress, a sub-tab like Install and Manage will help you install WordPress. If you don't have a WordPress account, you'll have to create a new one with an existing email and a new username and password. Use hard-to-guess username and password and commit them to your memory as they're essential for logging to your website's administrator dashboard in the future. And your website is ready. Go to a new tab and search for your domain and you'll be able to view your site. To access your admin dashboard, just add wp-admin to the URL and enter your admin username and password. There we go. As we can see, your website displays all content in English by default. To change this setting, head to the Settings tab and click General. And look for the Site Language option. Click on it and select Hindi from the drop-down. Then save the changes. Your website will now display all the elements in Hindi. And you can start adding content in Hindi as well. You can simply type the content using a Hindi keyboard that can be downloaded on your computer. You can create Hindi blogs for your readers. Or even create an online store completely in Hindi using WooCommerce. Check out our WooCommerce tutorial to learn more. Instead of a complete Hindi website, if you wish to give your visitors an option to choose their language, you can use multilingual plugins like Polylang, Translate Press, or WPML. Our video on how to create multilingual sites is in the description below. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.